Why don't we join Madeleine Sagstrom? This was a few moments ago. This was her approach into the opening hole for the Swede. Solheim Cup player, winner on tour. Oh, judging that to near perfection. Good birdie from Sagstrom. Leona Maguire's birdie putt on number one. Oh, well, nice pace right in the middle. Second shot into the first hole from the perfect position. Needs a really low round today to be in contention. Oh, that's a great start. Beauty. And then the second hole. And here we have Min Lee, Min Ji Lee. This coming from across the green. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, that was a very strong start. One of her compatriot, Hannah Green. Great shot in there to the first to get it close to that pin today and then rewarded. Excellent ball striking, plenty of long parts hold. Could this go in for Lee Six? Licky to join the lead. Oh, wow. It's a birdie chance now for Tyre Titikan. This would move her to 10 under to, to within two. They're dropping from all corners. So that <laughs> Choosing the driver for Kang. See, the carry was less than. Yeah, she does. She seems she seems comfortable. Uh, this is at the fourth. Nasa Hataoka for three on the bounce to six under. Tall American. Drops into the cup, so that's an excellent two. It's interesting what you say. Of a role than they have in the previous three days. <laughs> she landed that just short of the front edge. All over the flag, second shot. Don't worry about the left hand side, let's just go straight at it. Straight downhill. Oh, oh what a three. Now, now Amy to follow in on the same line. She knows exactly how this breaks. Just got to get it started. No oh, worries yeah. whatsoever. Inji bringing this down the right hand side. Now, if she can just pull up before it does drop away. And give herself a deep six of course has that par putt to come now we saw brooke henderson yesterday miss an absolute bucket load of those but that is a beautiful up and down as well so everyone will be picking their layup spots it's just it's such a personal thing as well par fives trish you know the, the length that brooke henderson ended up with coming into this green as we watched Titi will end up in in the bunker there it's very confident she's punched home a couple of sh uh, putts early doors so all to play for that needs to swing I would suggest that was always a bit of oh it's done quite well maybe, maybe two on. so these patterns are the same you know that she, she's got a few in the pocket to come this is uh, the fifth Titikin. So good from there. Genius. Uh, Daniel Kang here now, though. Also for a birdie. Yeah. Long way back here in the rough, for Jin Young Ko. Just going with the iron to get this back out into play, but she's going to end up a fair way in for her third shot. Green has made a great comeback after a pretty ordinary first round, to say the least. Not what she is used to. Oh, and that's a beautiful shot. You see how much easier it is today. So let's going to check up. Has been a good five back since that opening round 74 for Hannah Green. Amy Yang's trying to thread the needle here. She missed the fairway right at six. Oh, straight up over it. Oh, that is brilliant. Just through the goalposts. What a early as well, under the radar. Still a decent shot in here, going with an eight iron for Jin Young Ko, just left of the flag. Oh, it seemed like a little bit too much club. Now I can tell you, Dean Herbens just told me that they have already received. She's given that plenty and that may end up past the flag. It does. Good shot him. 
Just a little punched in wedge here for Inji Chun. The line is pretty good. Oh, she gives herself another chance. This to tie the lead. And boom, in it goes. But a proven winner back in Europe and certainly in Thailand. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is a huge chance. But she's going to be around for donkey's years. She's going to win loads and loads of tall pan out. Jin Young Ko for her birdie now. Long range down the hill. I'll keep tracking. Oh, that was unlucky. Around for sure. Uh, you know, thinking back to the Toto Japan Classic, she had quite a big lead and lost it with about six holes on the final day. She's a major champ now as well. Long range for Titikin, and in it goes. Right at the base of this little tree. No option other than to come out sideways and get it back on the fairway. You wouldn't bet against her. Come on, nice and firm, right in the, right in the middle. <laughs> Henderson's with. Oxford going with five iron. Again, low ball flight. The line is good. Just drifting a little left now, but that's not far away. Just needs to settle down. Yeah, running on a lot more than it looked like it would do. You mentioned low ball flight. Jie Chun. Now that's just drifting to the right side of the green. It's going to be a long putt. And it'll move further right where it is. With a five iron for Lee's six. The line looks very good. Oh, kick up. Wow. Watch it. Oh. Can't afford any of that in the final round. Oh, this is a tough shot for Ko. You see that quite often. Whenever there's not a lot of lip, you, I, I think more often than not, you see people come up short because they just have a tendency. And it's the first birdie of the day for the world number one. And she moves to 12 under in the ring. If Lee Six could manage to hold this, this will be some sort of birdie. And the way she's playing, nothing would surprise you. Oh, not to be. But uh, she did get out of jail a little bit coming up this hole. It was, uh, it could have gone too. That is an excellent putt from the world number one. So Ko starting to make moves. Birdie's on eight and nine. She's waking up. Coming off back-to-back -back birdies on eight and nine. Keeping that well left off the pin. Safe bungee lie here for Titikin. She's taking the high route. Just trying to play it almost like a bunker oh. shot. That is majestic from where she was. Well, these shots becoming oh so crucial now. And that is a very, very good three from Minji Lee at 12. Line that suits her. What a good four this would be. That is an exceptional up and down from the teenager. Just a little. Bit of breeze blowing here at the moment, not too much, but it's not going to affect Jin Young Ko because again she has split the centre of the fairway. Nice drive down the 12th for Hannah Green. Pins tucked in that back right section today. Now, Lee Six has a little bit of breeze behind her. Now here is another straight tee shot. This is going right and a long way right. Oh, for another really good up and down. Oh, please. Shell and peas, isn't it? Yeah. It's just so good. You know, not Sentosa Golf Club. They haven't found any snakes yet. This will be good if this sneaked in for Henderson. Hold your line, keep turning. Oh. In it goes. Oh, Henderson. She's the world number one and she's there for a reason. Bangs it in, that's got to go. Never going to make it. Just out of the left hand rough. 
Oh, this should release. This should make the shot a bit easier. Yeah, perfect. Oh, maybe she played it. Okay, just coming out of the right-hand rough might make the shot a little bit easier. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty. She's got good memories of this hole from last year, Hannah Green. That was the shot she holds, wasn't it? <laughs> And she does it in style. That's a good up and down. It's a good four. Left it long and right with the approach. And so she retired Titikan. This to join the lead on 15 under. Yes. Oh. Look at the confident stride. <laughs> from six feet on the PGA Tour, 45% is the average. And we're looking at six. No one's missed a six footer today. And I think that does come down. 260 plus to get to the front of the screen so this is just a matter of getting it down the center and she's going to do that it's heading in the direction of the front bunkers but uh, certainly won't get rising to the challenge trying to get it all the way back on 14 to add yet another birdie to what has been a mighty impressive day on the golf course for feelings and, and one of them actually is scoreboard you know it you know what's going on whereas when there's no crowds you're clueless no, you can always tell. Oh, look at this. Another one. Beauty right in the middle. At 60 yards with this wedge. Needs to stop. Get some check. Beautifully done. It's a chance. She keeps on giving herself plenty of them. Titikun at 14. The lead all by herself. Oh, what a good try. Castle towards the clubhouse. That is where drama might well unfold this afternoon. We've witnessed it before. And Ji Chun, come on, come on, keep dribbling, keep going. Or if you like, it is, and these are the big money events as well. Apart for Amy Yang at 15, this big for Jin Young Ko. Jin Young Ko, this is with five iron. Good contact now. It's somewhere near that ridge. If it kicks the right way, and you'll have to lead us in from here because we can't see a thing. Well, unfortunately, it's just two great shots from Hannah Green have set up an eagle opportunity at the 16th hole. Oh, and she's making a charge. Hannah Green now moves up to 12 under. Very similar in comparison in the women's game. through the back at 15, Jin Young Ko. Could put it. It can! One of the... Today. Pajari and Anna Rukan. She would have watched Brooks on the way by and she learned a lot. The title last year to Hyoju Kim. We go to 16 with Jin Young Ko. It's taken a long time to decide what to do out of this bunker. Decided to lay up well short, which is going to give her. It's good, solid contact. Just going towards the centre of this green. Yeah, that'll do it. Will it ever from Inji Chan? Lee six and Titikin would be so aware of that. Hasn't managed to birdie this hole before this week. Yeah, and also she's not just chasing one person. Mm. You know, she's going to eat. Well, there's every chance she might be chasing three if Chun knocks that eagle putt in. Just coming a little bit apart. And back down to the live action with Jin Young Ko. This is 153, and it's a good-looking shot. Now, she may get out of this after going by the bunker. Gives herself a good birdie chance. Birdie at the 18th hole. This for a 63 to get within one. She couldn't, could she? She does! Great opportunity here. This is for Eagle. Well, the crowd were willing for that to go in because had that dived into the hole, she would have joined the lead on 16 under par. 
still it's going to be a tap in birdie and she finds herself one back with two to play better she's getting to hold on to that share of the lead just got a little longer <laughs> <laughs> that hole just got a little bit this is with seven iron and uh, this tight left pin this is just going a little more central on the green just uh, going to give herself a chance at long range birdie putt again with the seven iron and that too is going towards the center of the green down softly and I'm not sure she can do that she has got it very high but still pretty commercial similar to the other two uh, the yeah. other two players so uh, long range birdie putts she'll want to get one more even though I don't think it's going to be enough and she'll be a little bit disappointed in how she's played the last three holes uh, it's a really good shot to finish with Angie Chun has this putt to join the lead on 16 under par. Gave it a nice roll. I thought she had that that line looked absolutely perfect. I thought it was just going to turn in at the end. What a putt that would have been. For a final birdie. Yeah, just when it mattered on the last three holes, three putts that just didn't quite have the same authority as the previous sort of 15 holes, but that's a tremendous performance. She'll be disappointed, no question about that. But it won't be very long before we see this young lady in the winner's circle on the LPGA. What a fantastic tournament that is. 67, you can't really argue against that. Ji Chan. And in it goes. A safe three. She's going to stay. The 18th hole was the 12th hardest today. Well, Amy's just made that look quite easy. This hole played the hardest, one and two the first two days. So I'll tell you how much easier it's been made by under LPGA Thailand. And that is a three for Jin Young Ko. Left of, without going too far down the right hand side. And that is just perfect. Up on top of the hill gets a clear view. And it's high in the air, and that is looking uh, more right centre, but it will hold up. It should be fine. And looking a little down the right-hand side. Oh, now that disappears over the hill on us, so I'll hot-foot it over and see what we've got. It seemed to nestle down in the rough a, a little bit. We are, we are looking down. And it's straight at it if it's the right number. Straight at it. It's a, it's a shot. Uncle will be just waiting. Came out very, very well, but it's left of the flag. Yeah, that was such a difficult. An easy shot, this. Contact's good, line's good. Now we'll see what the length's like. Well, again. Oh, that is not okay. Taking the shot, got to land it soft. Oh, maybe just a little too short in the long stuff. It was a really good attempt, though. It was never going to be easy. That is good from there. That could have ended up anywhere. That's the worst <laughs> grass on the... On oh. 
This time it's Asia's major for Jin Young Ko. And with that, the world number one takes the HSBC Women's World Championship with a birdie at the last, no less.